Shout my hip hop since 1987, niggas. Hip hop since 1987.com. Okay, now, you say the word respect. Like I said, man, I know you're in a different light, man. We didn't sat had real conversations for hours, smoke plenty sour, mm -hmm. you nod off, Child. wake up, and just <laughs> give up crazy bars. I mean, mm -hmm. no writing, like, people don't know that. I mean, mm -hmm. nod off in the studio, listen to a beat for hours. We just sitting in this, <laughs> wake up, I'm ready. <laughs> yeah. Just, yeah, they, Flame. they gotta see me work. They like, they really don't business. know. Like, do you mm -hmm. feel like you get the respect? And even performances, man, like, no backing vocals. Mm -hmm. Just rip it. Clean, clean. A lot of you rappers, I can't even hear what y'all saying when y'all on the stage. Yeah. Clean. Do you feel like you get the respect that you deserve as a lyricist and, like I said, a performer? Um, to a certain extent, like, maybe, mm -hmm. you know, to a certain extent. Maybe the reason I say that because. Everywhere I go, I get love, but you know how that shit go. Yeah. I mean, they gonna show you when they right in front of your face. Yeah. You know what yeah. I mean? But, you know, for the most part, majority, I can say majority is genuine. You know what I'm saying? Majority is genuine, and that's pretty solid with me. You know? I feel like I'm gonna gain the rest. Eventually, right. they come along, you know what I'm saying? But you just gotta wake them up. Consistency is the key, like I told my friend today. The way I'm promoting this kind of season, mm -hmm. like as it's about to drop and getting them anticipated, a nigga got to keep that same drive once it's dropped. You got to mm -hmm. keep the same drive whenever you make it, man. That's the key, baby. Okay, okay, okay. Now, what's up with Buck, man? Well, can, can we expect another gunner? Anything is possible. Okay, okay, all right, all right. Now, I also remember a while back you were supposed to have a, a project with Wayne. Whatever happened with that mixtape? Yeah, um... Shit, man, I was in the Def Jam deal at the time. Mm -hmm, you know what mm -hmm. I'm saying? Nigga was stuck in the Def Jam deal and shit. Cause Wayne was like, yo, nigga, come on this bus, come fuck with me. You more than welcome over here, yeah. nigga. You know what I'm saying? And um a nigga can move for real for real. I was still jammed up. Okay. You know? I was still okay. jammed up, man. But shout out to Lil Wayne, I fucks with him. Just for recognizing the talent, you know what I'm saying? And recognize that a nigga get busy. We got a few records out there. We did. A lot of people miss those. Yeah. They don't even know, but just Google it. Young Chris and Lil Wayne. <laughs> Gunner. Some hard ass junk shit. Yeah, 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 yeah. We got some shit though, man. Okay. We got some shit, and we was just dancing like nigga. Like one of the records is how we roll, right? I sent it to him. He sent it back. So when he sent it back, he ad libbing the whole verse, everything. You know what I'm saying, nigga? Yeah. Going in. Then he did his shit on his verse, shouting nigga out crazy. So I'm like, okay, cool. I keep the record. So I goes down to Miami. I got a session there with Cool and Dre. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Probably about eight o'clock, my session start. We in there, and shit. I'm like, oh, I hit him while I'm out Miami. Yo, what up, nigga? I'm out here. You know what I'm saying? He like, bet. I'm in the studio. I'm in the hit factory. I said, okay, cool. I hit you when I'm done. So mind you, it's eight o'clock when I hit him. Nigga, I don't get done to about five, five thirty yeah. a.m. So when I'm leaving the stew, you know, I start up. I'm like, oh, hit this nigga. What up, my nigga? You still, you still in the stew? I'm to my right back. Yeah, I'm here. What's up? But you know what I mean? I respect yeah, it. He's grinding. Yeah, 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 yeah. So I go around there. We go to the studio. We get there and shit. Um, and just, you know what I mean? We start from the rip. Smoking up. We rolling up. Getting high. Talking our shit. You know what I mean? Just catching up. We telling stories. I'm telling stories. We just doing our shit. And um, engineer put the beat on. So we like, who first? I'm right there, right here. Like, this, this, mind you, the song is done. We did two verses, but now I brought it to him to do the, the back and forth for the last yeah. verse. I want to go in and out. Y'all can pull the record up too. It's how we roll. Maybe first, I'm like, first, nigga, like, I'm mad. Yeah. yeah. No pen, no pad, both of us. So I go in there, start it off. As soon as, as, soon as I come out, he go in that bitch. You know what I mean? As soon as he come out, I'm in there. So, you know what I mean? He definitely respect, you know what I mean? The competitive shit in me, you know what I mean? He see it. Okay. okay. Everybody, you know, all them niggas see it, but you know, it's like when you're a threat to certain people, man, it's almost like they scared, you know, they scared to share that success. They make it seem like, oh no, man, I did this, I worked this hard, I did everything, I'm like, you niggas gotta do it, do it, do it. That's cool too, man, but you know, like I said, I look at me here, here, core, you know, here, Santos. Yeah. I didn't come up with them. 
Yeah. But I see them doing their thing from a distance, and it's like, all right, cool. Let's let's you know what I'm saying let's rock and do some shit. Here, yeah, take some of these people, my my fans over here. Yeah. Let's share this thing here. You know yeah, what I'm saying? Yeah. But everybody ain't gonna do that, man. Especially when they look at you like a threat. Yeah, they yeah. scared of falling. You know, falling. You know, number two. You know okay, okay. Now you got a lot of game to give these younger artists, but you spoke on Hove earlier. We know everything 100, but how much? Involved is he in the music you make currently? Like, do you are you still able to send him records, get his advice on things like that? Of okay. course, of course. Okay. Yeah, that's easy, man. Okay, that's, that's easy. dope. That's dope. Yeah, you know, I, like I say, I go through there, at Rock Nation. When I go up top, go through there to holler at me. Like, that's my extended family. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Go holler at everybody, say what up, you know, play records, send records, whatever the case might be. But we got that communication. Okay. All right. That's dope. That's dope. Now. Three major members of the, the Rockefeller legacy history are currently locked up. We got Oskino, Beans, Biggs. Have you talked to, well, we know you talked to Beans. Have you talked to Oskino, Biggs? Yeah, I talked to Beans. Oh, going? I haven't talked to Biggs. Okay. Beans okay. are always good in a good space. They, you know, to their own, we, 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 we're we going to rep, but they they good though. Okay. Yeah. Now, do you ever get to run in the Dame? Do you and Dame? Yeah, I, I haven't seen him in a minute, but before Dame got heavy on the gram and everything yeah. like that, I used to always pop up on him, you know what I'm saying? Okay, and okay. When he was, this when he was dealing with uh, currency and style even more. Okay, you know? okay. Yeah. Yeah. okay. Yeah. Now, what do you feel like is one of the biggest differences, you know, when y'all started and what's going on now? What do you feel like you wish you could have had as far as like a Twitter, Instagram, I mean, shit, you guys were Grammy nominated for those who don't know. Yeah. But even still, like, which one of those tools you feel like, man, could have just been something different? I would right really wish for them, man. Yeah. But if it was around, we had to, we, we had to show them some shit, you yeah. know what I'm saying? Yeah. Um, Instagram which, type. Yeah, without a doubt, man. So okay. the best of the best. You gotta think not only our own success, you know. Young gun success, not only that success, state property success, you know what I'm saying? Let alone if if, if I'm not on tour, Beanie C was on tour, I'm out with him, go freeway, you know what I'm saying? And then you got the big homie. Jay-Z been touring since we met him, so we on Sprite tours, you know what I'm saying? Blueprint Rock and Mike tours. Just experience the you know the world, man. And we performing on the joints too. Hit records, you know what I'm saying? Okay. Yeah. Now I also see you had the merchandise. For the project, yeah. How yeah. that how that merch moving? What's going it's on with pretty that? Pretty good, man. It's pretty good. I need my gun season two. I got you, bro. Yeah, I got man. you. I got you. I started with that live joints, and the live joints was moving. You know yeah, what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Moving quicker than we expected because you know I just did it because it was a part of my movement as I was dropping the Bible Science yeah, tape. Yeah. I wanted to have some type of merch to put out with it. But you know, it did, it did great, man. It did well, man. Like I told you, you know, way well than we expected. So mm -hmm. it just forced me to just keep getting more and more and more. And that's where the gunner season out there came from. You see the G, nice town, you know, mm -hmm. the hood behind me. They love me. That's my, you know, that's my space. That's my backyard. So what other but to start with the nice town joints and we spread it out, man. I got the Philadelphia joints, the nice town, gunner season. Of course, alive because that's the brand. Exactly. You know. Okay. Okay. www.gunnerseason baby it's the pop-up shop on there you heard it now i can't let you leave without talking to you about sneaks man and i wish now i was here he'd tell you you know i got more sneaks than you but we ain't gonna go there yeah man. we probably not nah, you honestly you probably do it's the, it's this young boy in this block man he dangerous man like every go time have it's like no he's a kid he probably like 13 but every time i come out the spot he named any pair of sneaks i got on because i'm talking about he know way more than me about this shit, you hear me What's your top three, man? What's uh, your top three? I done seen the collection. Damn near whole room, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, um, and top three sneaker. Of course, of course, Mike, we can't, you know what I'm okay. saying? Uh, damn. Mm. Kinda hard. Yeah, no, 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 I got one on right now. You know what I'm saying? Uh, let me put the camera on before this thing, so. I'll be clear. Yeah. Um, Shit. Some of my favorite joints, man. Cause I, I, I was a, I was a, I was a, uh. Man, it's tough right there. Things out. I don't know, man. I'm just saying, like, you know. 
I guess you know I can I could I could say something old what I used oh, to do. I yeah. guess I could say airs then at one time I was aired out. You know what I'm saying? Okay. Like airs, you know what I'm saying? I still a fuck with forces here and there I grab a pair, but you know, at one time it wasn't nothing but airs. Okay. You know what I'm saying? Nothing okay. but okay. airs. How you, you know? feel about everybody being sneakerheads, man? Oh, that's you know, whatever. Hey, whatever. They just, works, you know, man. they just want to fit in. They okay. not gonna sneak in. Okay. All these niggas is waiting in line and shit for sneaks and shit, camping out. All this fucking bullshit, dog. Like, get the fuck out of here. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? They just, they just want to be in the conversation. <laughs> you know how motherfucker at the table don't know what's going on. He just left off. You know what I'm saying? That's the way of them to be in the combo, bro. Honestly, it's just sad. That's the fuck. That's what's going on, man. These niggas just want to be in the loop, bro. They don't know what the fuck they buying. Sleeping outside. And they doing it because they see the girls want them or these bitches putting them up on their Instagram. Ooh, can somebody buy me these? I want these. Next thing you know, these niggas putting them up. I got these. Get the fuck out of here. But you know, these bitches, the majority of these hoes don't know no better. They falling for this shit. So I guess the niggas like fraud and zed. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Hell, Turn up how you got to, man. Straight up. All right, all right now. You get a lot of love also for you get out here. I gotta ask, man, who's your most surprising fan, man? Like, walk Remember up most boy. surprising? Mm hmm I know you got fans like Rihanna and you know what I'm saying, but who's your most surprising fan? Oh, mm. It's like, damn, fuck with my shit? Yeah, yeah, um, dang. Let's see. That's a good one, too. There's a lot of, you know, there's a lot of good people that mm -hmm. shock me, you know yeah. what I'm saying? Uh, Crazy nigga from the same friend. Yeah. Oh man, that that that, that is crazy. It's crazy you said that because that's a good one. Lil B, man, that shocked the fuck out of me. <laughs> nah, you know why? You know why though? Because I'm serious about this. This dude, shout out to Lil B first. This nigga will write me motherfucking verses and shit that I did, nigga, on my second and third mixtape, dude. She like reminded me, I'm talking about joints that I love though. Like, yeah, yeah, yeah. That's, shit about yeah. my hood, my family, shit. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Bar for bar, nigga. For a minute. I'm talking about going, this been going on for years. So I'm like, wow, homeboy on that shit like that. I was showing my man, like, yo, can you believe this shit, my nigga? You know what I'm saying? Like, yeah. you know, he be telling me, like, yo, I study this shit, nigga. You the rap lord, you the rap god, all this shit. You ask the homie. Whenever you see this nigga, ask him, my nigga. You see him and him not the rap god, nigga. You <laughs> yeah, that's love, that's love. Shout out Lil B, that's love. Word, right? shout out Lil B, man. You he might be the answer to the next question. Most interesting person. I met a lot of people, man. Most interesting person you've got to be. Probably, um, he, he, not the, he not the most interesting person, man. Shut him down. Probably Eminem. Okay. Eminem. Okay. Yeah. All right. Why is that? Michael Jackson. Just Damn, both shit. of them guys, you know why? <laughs> I'm sure all y'all seen the picture when we was at Summer Jam, you know what I'm saying? And Mike was on the stage and hey, bro, hey, yeah. Mike was just like. <laughs> <laughs> Damn, Mike was just like. Like he ain't belong there and shit, and that's how M was one time. Niggas was backstage and shit. As show, show him and Jay had. He backstage chilling, they like chilling, nigga. I'm telling you, dog. I'm like, what the fuck is wrong with this nigga? You know what I mean? He stared there like that the whole time. Huh? <laughs> I wasn't talking to nobody. <laughs> oh, was like, don't worry about this. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but check it out. I said this nigga crazy as shit. But I also seen Duke give it up to us in the, in the interview before on in the magazine. I don't know which joint it was. Eminem said something about the young guns. Like, you know what I'm saying? They they get busy with whatever, whatever. That's so love. I that's salute love. him on that. You know what I'm saying? Plus, he's one of the best to do the shit. Exactly. Yeah, that's love. Yeah, All he right. Get, he's one of the best. All right, well. Man, is there anything you like to leave us with, man, before we get out of Gunna here? Season, GunnaSeason.com, www.gunnaseason.com. Pop-up shop, all my shit there. All the latest music, the latest videos. You know, my Twitter is at YoungChris, Y-O-U-N-G-C-H-R-I-S. My Instagram is underscore YoungChris. You know what I'm saying? One of these fucking jerks took my Instagram. They took my nigga. What's wrong with these clowns, man? <laughs> what the fuck is wrong with this jerk? I'm sure you'll see this. So I had to find an underscore. I put the underscore before my shit. You know yeah, what I'm saying? Yeah, That's yeah. why a lot of motherfuckers can't find me. They probably be searching Young Chris, Young Chris. They probably search a Young Chris and then underscore yeah, if yeah, anything. Yeah. But who the fuck won't think to put the underscore first? Unless we telling them. You know what I'm yeah, saying? Yeah. Somebody find this jerk, man. 
find this gangster man, whatever the fuck this weirdo at. And um just follow me on that and um just get the mixtape. That piff, shout out to that piff, they 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 premiered it. Go get your free download, you know. And just just follow me, man. Just follow my next movement, man. We're gonna keep it going, man. Don't play with me, man. Pull up in the hood, man. Tell okay. these don't play with me, man. Now I got one last question nah, nah, for nah, you. Nah, nah, nah. Yeah, one last question <laughs> for you from from this is a special question from B White. Who Who wants that? to know Brandon White. Oh, he wants to know what what, what will it take? Because <clears throat> we see, you know, like you said, world premieres or other places. What will it take for you to world premiere with us? We we just you know we just want to know because we need you to world premiere with us next time, man. Nah, man, that ain't no problem, bro. Okay. We can make that happen. That's okay. easy, bro. Like, honestly, bro, okay. that's real talk. But, hey, you know man, the whole I thing? I know you but check this out. Like, like he'll know that. You yeah, know? we can do that. That's easy. Yeah. Check this out. You know what I'm saying? But shout out to KP, man, that piff, because them, them, them guys reached out to me. And just and they, and they asked me, you know, we see you got the project coming. Yeah. How could we help? How could we be a part of it? There you you understand what I'm saying? So it's like, you know, and that's how that came about. And I respect it and I salute it. So it's just it's just the same way, bro. You know how we can make it happen. Exactly. It was just man. if they just came first, you know. Well, we communication was tighter and better. Ain't before. nobody asked you before today about your next project. All so right. now we asking you today. Hey, yeah. <laughs> hey, hey, you might as hey, well give me the hey, title. Hey, Mike, let him know. Tell we the title. you early. Tell the title. What's the title of the next Come joint, title, Mike? Man. Street fan and celebrity status. <laughs> Listen, man. That's too long, cuz. Listen, man. So, you know what I mean? What the fuck? That's what it is, man. Your boy E Money chilling with my motherfucking brother, man. Young Gunner. Gunner. Gunner season. Make sure you get that shit, man. Gunner, man. Signing out with hip hop since 1987.com. Shout my hip hop since 1987, niggas. Hip-hop since 1987.com